Hello again, it's a Friday, so that means it's Friday Power Vlog time. This week, I thought I'd do a paranormal vlog about the Ecovox 2.0, um, showing some of our past sessions we've conducted and recorded on the night, showing some of the intelligent responses we've had come through. Last week, I did a vlog reviewing the Ecovox app. Um, but this week I thought I'd show some of my um, past footage just to back up what I was saying um, with regard to it giving out a lot of intelligent responses relating to haunted locations. Now some of the most interesting clips I'm going to show you in this clip. Um, the first one being the Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker in Essex. We investigated there last October 2014 and on the night, although we didn't hear everything that was coming through, we did actually get some really intelligent responses which time with that location, such as the, it mentioned the sick bay, it said we're ill and it warned us not to go in there, it also um, mentioned some things that may have happened to them, I say may because you just never know with these things, but they're quite eerie what it says anyway. Um, at the start of the session, it's as though whatever was there was very, very angry and really didn't want us to be there trying to communicate with them. Please do excuse the language at the start of it because they do say some very strong swear words, which I then repeat on the night. Because when you're out investigating and you're using these tools and equipment and everything to try and communicate and these things are coming through and they're being really rude to you, sometimes you have to respond to them in the same manner but not in a way of being rude to them but in a way of saying well why are you saying this to us you know but I shan't mention the swear word now but I did did use it on the night so yeah um, another thing that was quite interesting about that particular session was the room um, where we were conducting that Ecovox session I asked which room are we in and shortly afterwards it says ballot room now that particular room I think is called the communications room it's one of the largest rooms on one of the floors there um, and it still has all of the paraphernalia there of the computer monitors keyboards desks chairs you name it it's all there what they used when when these people worked there back in the day so whether some type of government ballots and things went on in there I don't know, it's just, there's a strong possibility that, that they did, so that's, that's quite interesting. So have a little watch now and see if you can hear what they say. Please leave. Please leave. Uh, fuck off. Did I say fuck off? No. Did you just tell us to fuck off? No. So that was the Kelvin and Hatch nuclear bunker. 
Now this next session was conducted at an undisclosed location. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this one. Um, have a listen. We're not here to hurt you or harm you or take the mickey out of you. We would just like to be your friend. Would you like us to be your friend? Oh, there's some sad stories. Did some sad things happen in here? Fred. Have you had enough of us? Why don't you come in here and show yourself to us, please? Would you like us to leave? Are you German? Yeah. Are there any children here? Three. Hmm, so that was that. A bit weird, but yeah. Um, another one I just wanted to include was um, somebody's reaction they had to a word which came through, which I found quite funny. I shouldn't really, but sometimes people's reactions to these things, um, you're not kind of feeling the same thing that they're feeling and some of their reactions actually make you laugh and they shouldn't, they really, really shouldn't. Um, it's not always the case because I do take this seriously but sometimes you can't help it and, and the person in question is my sister anyway. And she is funny so um, yeah, have a watch of this one. What's your name? <laughs> Esther. Esther. Yeah, I've got that. Esther. Is your name Esther? No. No. What is your name? Pete. Pete. Ask it again. What's that, B? Uh -huh. <laughs> Devil. Did you hear devil? I no, I didn't. I did. Well, let's go then. Bye. No. It's on your take no notice. Right. This next session we conducted at uh, another undisclosed location um, and we got quite a lot of different voices coming through. Um, this was one of the first sessions where I actually heard it say my name. It said my first name and then it said my second name later, which was quite brilliant. I've heard it say my name loads more times since then. I've also heard it say other people I'm with at the time investigating it. It sort of said their names as well. So yeah, um, have a watch over this one. Um. Oh, it sounded like Sadie. Yeah. Uh, fourth as well. Yeah. Did you just say my name? Can you say somebody else's name who's here? Spirit. Brave. 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 Okay, can you tell me the name of one of the men here with us, please? Zach? What did it say? It sounded like Zach. <laughs> I thought it said Dick. That's what I thought it said. Yeah. Get, what's that, get out? Get this. I can hear people talking. Listen. Don't touch yourself. Right. Okay, 
Okay, so that's all I'm showing for today. Otherwise, this vlog would go on for an hour at least, probably, if I put more clips in. But this is what I found just to give you an idea of what you can actually um, pick up using an Ecovox. Ecovox. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and you've heard the responses that come through. Um, and that's all I can say today, really. So, I hope it hasn't rambled on too much and it's been interesting to watch. So, yeah, until the next, not sure what next week, next week's vlog's going to be about. Um, there's plenty to go on about, but, um, yeah, I'll see you next week. So, until the next, bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.